presentation of the piece and also for how well they performed it. First up, she's picked a track from Bollywood blockbuster Fizzer to dance to and describes her act as a really a mix of both East and West. Please put your hands together. Here she is. It's Praveen Siam. red as a blushing new bride. My ever-loving friend, is this true? That a tree of paradise flowers within me, that my footsteps ring out like the nars beneath me. Is this true? That the night sheds drops of dew at the very sight of me, that the daylight surrounds me with light from delight in me. My ever-loving friend, is this true? <coughs> Excuse me. Is this true? That the daylight hides in the dark of my hair. That the world falls silent shh, to hear me speak. My ever-loving friend, is this true? That the earth can be wrapped around the end of my sari. That my arms hold life and death in their power. Is this true? That your love has waited for me alone through worlds and ages, awake and wandering. Is this true? That my eyes, my lips, my voice bring you relief in a trice in the cycle of life after life. My ever-loving friend, is this true? that you read on my soft forehead infinite truth my ever loving friend is this true with music taken from Ludja and Dal here's our next finalist she's from Newcastle it's Gurminder Gorsing <laughs>
We have Belvinda Kaur next from Southampton. She'll be dancing to Ash Carroll by A.S. Kang. going to read out for us, written about her life uh, as a British Asian. Standing on the street, feeling surrounded, I look around, a voyeur of kind, feeling inadequate, feeling dumbfounded. Two percent of the population. I relieve my confused mind. <laughs> At least this is no great revelation. Foreign to the country of my birth, I do not feel the same. You see, there are other places on earth. We did not invade. We were invited. I cannot shift the blame, for my ancestors were far-sighted. And you who dream of heaven and hell should know the use of bucket and well. How that spilt water could tip the scales. And upon what then would our souls we sell? There was the door to which I found no key. There was the glass through which I could not see. The fog and mist I would not peer through. If locked and blind, the answer is in me. Thank you. Very well done, Sheila. Next we have Rashmi Mystery from Middlesex. She's performing a modern Indian dance to the song Sona Sona.
she's from Birmingham. She's dedicating her poem to her parents, which is very, very sweet. Please welcome Bile onto stage. Evening. The following poem I'm about to recite in Hindi is something I wrote for my parents as they were always there for me, have always encouraged and supported me, and they are the reason I am who I am and where I am today. Jeet Ham Sabki Manzil Hamara Ek Firbi Ham Kitne Alak Hai समझ के भी हम डरते हैं कितना औरों की नजर से गिर भी जाए लेकिन आपकी आंखों में चाहते हैं हम कि दिया जलाए आए हैं आपके सामने आज खड़े हैं हम यहाँ आपका साथ में भागर ममता के आंचल में गुजर गए हैं कितने रात और दिन आज इसी आंचल में कुर्बान करती हूँ मैं अपना दिल इस दिल को प्यार करना आपने समझाया सपनों को सच्चा बनाना ये भी सिखाया मेरी हर खुशी की वजह आप हो इसका भी इम्तहान आप ले ही लो आए हैं हम आज इस खुशी के दिन पे जहाँ जीत सिर्फ एक की होगी मगर सबसे बड़ा तोहफा मिलेगा हम सबको इसके बाद और वो है आप सबका आशीर्वाद धन्यवाद stage we've got Bina Masan. Now she's from London and completely bringing to life a number from the film I'm sure you know very very well. Ham Dil De Chake Sanam.
London and she's presenting a contemporary movement performance. Sounds interesting, here she is. from Leicester. Now, she's written something very special. She wants to address each and every one of you about being a British Asian. Good evening and namaskar, ladies and gentlemen. For the purpose of this evening's Miss India UK event, I would like to present a short discourse on the modern Indian woman and how she has maintained the balance between her own Indian culture with that of the Western society in which she lives. It is also a subject which is close to my heart, as despite being proud of my cultural heritage, I remain focused on a professional career in psychology. When one thinks of the traditional Indian woman, one immediately pictures a cultured lady who plays a central role within her family. When one thinks of the modern Indian woman, one immediately thinks of an intelligent, confident and career-minded individual. Today, Indian women in the West are becoming more and more recognized for their achievements in the areas of business, politics, literature, media and others. This is not to say, however, that her achievements have been at the expense of her duties towards her family. She continues to perform and maintain both dual roles within her home and within her chosen career. Examples of women who have done exactly that and have been recognized for their achievements include Meena Bhattak of Bhattak Spices fame, awarded the Asian Businesswoman of the Year Award, Praveen Kumar receiving the Professions Award in the medical field, and Usha Parmar receiving the Entrepreneur's Award for running Sunrise Radio. It is such successful women that are role models for other British Asian women and inspire them to achieve as much, if not more, than they already have. So where does the Indian woman go from here? In my opinion, she has come a long way in challenging the ideology that a woman's place is in the home previously so concentrated in Indian families. 
With the commitment, enthusiasm, and the will to succeed in her career, as well as the motivation to uphold her cultural values, the modern Indian woman can and will continue to perform both dual roles and challenge stereotypical images of Asian women from around the world. Thank you. Next we have Pooja Bedi, she's from Middlesex, and dancing to Mere, Mehboob Mere from the film Fizza. She's been working really, really hard to make this routine completely original. Please put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, for Pooja tonight. choice for our contestants tonight and here's Carmody Taylor from Middlesex to perform a dance from it.
track of Tere Pail Mere Geet. Priya Patel from Essex. Here she is. <laughs> Mental alabaster. Yet she must die, else she'll betray more men. Put out the light, and then put out the light. If I quench thee, thou flaming minister, I can again thy former light restore, should I repent me. But once put out thy light, O oh, thou cunning snipe pattern of excelling nature, I know not where be that Promethean heat that can by light relume. Once I have picked thy rose, I cannot give it vital growth again. It needs must wither. I'll smell it on the tree. Be thus when thou art dead, and I will kill thee and love thee after. Behold, I have a weapon. A better never did itself sustain upon a soldier's thigh. I have seen the day that with this little arm and this good sword I have made my way through more impediments than twenty times your stop. But oh, vain boast, who can control his fate? Tis not so now. Be not afraid, though you do see me weaponed. Here is my journey's end. Here is the butt and very sea mark of my utmost sail. Do you go back dismayed? Tis a lost fear. Man but a rush against a fellow's breast, and he retires. Now, how dost thou look now? O oh, ill-starred wench, pale as thy smock. When we shall meet at Compt, this look of thine will hurl my soul from heaven, and fiends will snatch at it. Cold. 
cold, my girl. Even like their chastity. Oh, cursed, cursed slave. With me, devils, from the possession of this heavenly sight. Blow me about in winds. Roast me in sulfur. Wash me in steep down gulfs of liquid fire. Desdemona. Desdemona. Now our next finalist is closer to home. Budambandia is from Leicester once again. Here she is dancing classically to Enigma's Sadness. Put your hands together, please.
taking the stage now, dancing to a track from a brilliant Bollywood movie called Dal. Please give Kiran a really warm welcome.
Miss Media UK will be right back after the break. I have just been handed the names of the five finalists that are going to go through to the grand finale. Do you want to open it? Oh, go on then. <laughs> We'll share the duties, I think. The five finalists that will go through to the Miss India UK Grand Finale are... And ladies, if I read your name out, please step forward. Just to prolong the excitement. The first person to go through to the Grand Finale is... Contestant number one, Parveen Sian. Number two that makes it through to the next round is Priya Cor Jones. Obviously, very popular there. Our third grand finale contestant this evening is Bina Masan. on to the fourth contestant who makes it through to the final round, Aruna Murphy. Well, ladies, only one place left. They're all getting a bit sweaty up here, I can tell you. The last person to go through to our grand finale tonight is Priya Patel. finale the judges are now going to ask each of you a question but to make it fair I have five cards here there they are each one represents a different judge I'm going to hand them to our Sonia pick a card any card <laughs> okay open it and it's uh, Anne Oliver your question, my Parveen, please. Right. My question is, what family values do you cherish and why? Thank you very much for your question. Would you like me to repeat it? No, that's fine. Good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all enjoying yourselves. As for my question, the family values that I cherish the most is the love and the respect and the morals that my parents have taught me. This, I feel, has made me into the individual that I am, a British Asian individual that I am, and I am independent, and I am, I like to think, intelligent enough. And this has basically given my individuality in the society that we live in today. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you thank very you. much for your question. Excellent answer. Now, we've already spoken, but it's your chance to pick a card, any card. Okay, let's have a look at uh, whose name it is. Open that up for me. And it's Shanaz Hussain. Uh, this is the question. What is your ambition in life and why? My ambition in life is to become a television presenter. Um, ultimately, I'd like to have a career in which I'm successful, happy, which I enjoy, and which hopefully I'm good at. And I think, uh, well, I hope that being a television presenter fits the bill. It's not a bad job. <laughs> Excellent. A round of applause for Priya. Now moving on to Bina, and how's it been for you so far? Great, great. really good experience. You enjoy it. What's the best thing about this? Um, the way that you feel when you're on stage, it's really, really, it's a big adrenaline rush. Very glamorous and very sexy and very wanted. Okay, well here's your envelope. Uh, pick one, just go for the middle one, and just open that out for me. And the name that you see? Lord Raj. What would you say is the best thing about your British Indian culture and why? I think it's really good in the way that the role of the British Indian woman has moved on so much in the years and along, alongside with everyone else thinks the same way, you know, the views have moved on, views have changed, a lot of avenues have been opened. But I think the best thing about it is the way that the British Indian culture 
um, has managed to uphold its position at the moment, the, the where it is in the world. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks very much, Sabina. Now, Aruna, pick a card. And just to open it up for us. And it's Diana Hayden. Your question, please. Good evening, Aruna. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. My question for you tonight is very simple. Whom do you admire the most and why? Well, I have to say the person I admire the most is Mahatma Gandhi. And that's because he fought for peace and he believed that war was impossible and you can always always trust that if you use your mouth rather than using weapons you can get further my father always taught me that you have to use your brain and consider situations and judge them accordingly and I think it's true because of the world today we're just too interested in trying Okay. No, I just wanted to say that we should try and have peace in the world and we shouldn't judge people. Thank you. Excellent. Very well put. That's Aruna Murphy. And now our fifth finalist that has made it into the grand finale. Priya, how are you? I'm fine. Yourself? I'm not too bad. Thank you. The only person that asked me so far. Now, unfortunately... <laughs> Unfortunately, only have one left, so take your pick, it could be any. And it's Mr. Surin. Mr. Surin, your question, please. Priya, yeah, my question to you is, what would you say is the best thing about your British Indian culture and why? Um, thank you for your question. I think the best thing about the culture is that I have a chance to stand as a pillar for the British Indian society in this country. And I think that sort of involves combining um, the traditional values that you have and the principles that you have and combining it very gracefully with um, the sophistication of the West. And I think a woman who can do that in this country I think has um, certainly going to be going far. So thank you. Well, there you have it. Our five finalists gone through to the grand finale. As Rajesh was saying earlier, they've all worked very, very hard, but uh, answered the questions very well. Let's give them a clap as they clear the stage. Straight to some more entertainment now. Please welcome Sasha.
the first ever Miss India UK. We do have a number of other awards to give to our finalists. The first award is the Femi Beauty Award, as judged by Femi Beauty, Midland's Day Cleon Salon of the Year. The winner gets a full luxury day in the salon and a gift basket containing Day Cleon and Aveda products. This award is going to be presented by Vanita Panchal, who's the director of Talk of the Town Media. Okay, this is the envelope with the winner, so just open that. And the winner of this award is Priya Patel. Doesn't she look gorgeous, ladies and gentlemen? A big warm welcome for Priya Patel. The Tony and Guy Most Beautiful Hair Award is going to be presented tonight by Rani Singh and Zenob. Now the Tony and Guy Award goes to Bobinder Kaur. chosen by Sony television viewers. To present this award, Sony Senior Vice President of International Business Rajan Singh and with him, former CNN host Riz Khan. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Riz and I have the pleasure of uh, making this award. Right, Riz, if you want to do the honours. This is, ladies and gentlemen, if I can just uh, tell you how we did this. For over a week and a half, what we did was we played all the girls on our television, the Sony Entertainment Television Asia, across the whole of the UK and Europe, and we asked our viewers to vote by telephone lines on who they think should be the Miss India UK. And here is the winner. The winner of the Sony Entertainment Television Asia Award viewer's choice is Priya Patel. So, Priya Patel again. Right. And you might wonder, Riz, do be honest. Do you want me to hold it, Riz? Yeah, I'm just saying you better actually. Uh, you got a lot in your hands there, haven't you? For people who are wondering what uh, Priya's won, well, apart from the uh, state-of-the-art Sony PlayStation 2, she's also won. She's also won a choice of being on Sony as well. She'll be auditioned to present one of our programs in the future. That's uh, Priya Patel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now the next award will go to the Miss India UK finalist who's displayed the best talents. The winner will receive a gold jewellery set sponsored by Ron Jewellers of Leicester and presented Lord Raj Sharma. The winner of the Talent Award is Aruna Murthy. sweated out on stage. It's a time we've all been waiting for. Who will be the first ever official Miss India UK? Who will go on to represent the UK in the Miss India Worldwide Finals? Thank you. <laughs> I have here yeah. the names of the second runner-up, the first runner-up, and the winner 
of the Miss India UK Finals 2001. Does it feel a bit nervous? Well, it's not me, so no. <laughs> now, the prizes awarded for the second runner-up is £500 worth of gold. For the first runner-up, it's £1,000 worth of gold. And tonight's Miss India UK 2001 winner is going to receive £1,500 worth of gold and business class travel to the Miss India Worldwide Finals courtesy of firstoptiontravel.com. The gold, of course, is sponsored by, yes, you guessed it, Ram Julius of Leicester. Where are they from? <laughs> At this time, I'd like to invite Shanaz Hussain onto the stage to present these awards to our winners. Shanaz, welcome. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the second runner-up of Miss India UK 2001 is... Bina Masan.
Sony Entertainment Television Asia wishes Parveen Sian and her two princesses the very best during their year of reign. <laughs> Oh, man.